Hello everyone. Totally predictable, but still very exciting turn of events. SpaceX has formally requested to test Starship SN1 over Boca Chica sometimes in March through to September. The great news from SpaceX continues to pour in. SpaceX has been developing Starship rocket, world's most powerful rocket and space launch system, that will outperform any other rocket preceding it, which is also most technologically advanced rocket thanks to complete novel rocket engine design. In this case, a Raptor rocket engine will finally be tested and showcased its true potential. This is if SpaceX gets its go ahead for March 16th launch date or sometimes around that date. Oh, by the way, don't forget careers day today at SpaceX. If you want to build starships for SpaceX, send your CV to SpaceX right now. By the way, this is quite optimistic timetable considering SpaceX has just started working on a Starship SN1. Something I reported on last week. Video link in the description. While we are at it, please consider subscribing to my Facebook channel and Twitter as well. Links are in the description again. As you all know by now, but for the uninformed, Starship will be fully reusable rocket, capable of lifting up and landing back on its starting launch pad. The rocket was designed to last at least 20 to 30 years, or ideally up to 3000 launches in its lifetime. Many of you ask me on my channel, will Starship be capable of single stage to orbit or SSTO flights? Sadly, no. Starship on its own won't be and isn't capable of SSTO flight. Perhaps manned version will be capable of SSTO flight, but even this is questionable. Work on Starship, now formerly a BFR, started in 2018, when Starhopper, SpaceX's first demonstration of concept, was first flown to 150 meters. The test went as predictable with short two minute hop, which was absolute success, and Starhopper can still be seen at the launch site in Boca Chica. Starship SN1, which I already mentioned, is the next phase of development, of the rocket SpaceX is developing. Earlier prototype Starship Mark 1 or MK1 completed late last year and unveiled by Elon Musk in October was tested. However, tests showed few flaws in tank design and after additional testing earlier this year, company happy with the outcome gave a green light for work on Starship SN1 to commence. Elon Musk hopes work on Starship to be completed within the next 10 to 12 weeks, so testing on Starship could start in earnest, ideally in late April. However, announcement of March 16th flight test is highly questionable. Five weeks to complete Starship SM1 is a tall order. I would be genuinely very, very surprised if SpaceX can complete Starship SM1 in that time frame. It would be very impressive, but also indicate a capability SpaceX hasn't demonstrated before. As I said before, Starship system will be fully reusable vehicle. Starship system will be able to lift more than 100 metric tons of payload into low Earth orbit or carry up to 100 passengers at any time. The first prototypes of Starship are in their initial phase of development at the company's facility at Boca Chica, Texas. Once completed, Starship is meant to launch into orbit on top of an equally massive rocket booster called Super Heavy and then travel onwards to distant destinations like the Moon or Mars. According to recent filings with the Federal Communication Commission, or FCC, SpaceX requests permission to conduct Starship SN1 first high-altitude test flight as early as March 16. Though the test flight can occur any time this year because the request date period begins on March 16 and ends on September 16. The filing details the test flight altitude for Starship SN1 of around 20 kilometers. SpaceX will also attempt to land the vehicle on a nearby launch pad at Boca Chica. The altitude of 20 kilometers might not seem high, but it's pretty high. The edge of space begins around 100 and 
60 kilometers. So a successful 20 kilometer Starship test flight will be a huge milestone towards sending the craft into low Earth orbit. SpaceX filed paperwork with the FCC requesting to transmit radio frequencies during Starship's SM-1 test flight. SpaceX also plans to send data of the vehicle's trajectory to NASA as well as United States Air Force. SpaceX wants to speed up Starship construction progress, so they are hiring. The company will host a Starship's career day uh, today, which is February 6th, at Boca Chica facility in Texas. Everyone is welcome to apply. However, you should be a US citizen or at least a US resident. Elon Musk announced that he'll be hosting the event or careers day at the Spaceships facility at Boca Chica. So good luck everyone. And in final words, flying Starship vehicle about 20 kilometers for SpaceX will be the most important step and crucial test of SpaceX capability. If test proves a success, it'll open doors for a whole new era in space exploration and also how humanity access the space and what it means for easy and cheap access to space. Suffice to say, humanity's future among the stars is almost secured with such a bold step. Bear in mind, SpaceX FCC filing requests permission to fly as early as March 16. Though it is possible that test might not occur for a while, perhaps until late April, early May. The filing requests quite a long window, giving the company until September 16th to perform this high altitude flight. However you're looking at, things are looking up. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.